In last week's video, I demonstrated some ways to use Cuneo with a machine. Here's how to set those up. There are three parts. Triggering sounds with Cuneo's pads, controlling macros in machine with Cuneo's faders, and assigning parameters to those macros. Okay, starting off with a totally fresh machine project here, with just this one sound loaded. The first thing that we want to do is to configure the sound to respond to a MIDI message from one of Cuneo's pads. Over in the Cuneo editor, which I have opened up here, we can see that this pad is sending note C3, which is also note number 60, and it's sending it on channel number 1. Back in the machine software, we can configure this sound to respond to that MIDI message by right-clicking it and choosing Sound MIDI Settings. In the Sound MIDI Settings panel, we want to click Enable, and you can see that by default, it chooses channel number 1, which is exactly what we want, but it chooses this whole big range, and we just want it to respond to C3 or note 60. So we're going to change these two parameters to C3, and I definitely recommend that you type in the numbers because these slidey whitey things can be just really difficult. We can also set the root note to be C3. Now, when we press the pad on Cuneo, that sound is triggered. The next thing that we want to set up is the group macros. We can do this by selecting group as opposed to sound or master, and then clicking on MCR for macro. Back in the Cuneo editor, we can see that our fader is sending CC0 for its location. Cuneo's faders can also send other messages, but here we just want to use the location. Back in the machine software, we can right click this macro and choose CC0 to correspond with that fader. Now, when I move around the fader, it'll move around that macro. But that macro isn't doing anything. So, to give it something to do, for example, we're going to open up a filter, which has these various different parameters, and we're going to map one of them to that macro by right-clicking it, choosing Assign Macro Control, and choosing Macro Number 1. Now, when I move around my fader, it'll move around that parameter, and let's hear that now. To set up the rest of your sounds and your macros, just rinse and repeat.